Hello, I'm Lou Catford. Would you join me and Shrewsbury Town correspondent for the Shropshire Star, Lewis Cox. Uh, Lewis, you've been speaking to the new man at the helm at Shrewsbury Town. We yep. saw Sam Ricketts go earlier this week, and I tell you what, we've seen them make moves quickly. Steve Cottrell, the man to come in. What were your first impressions? Because you've you've already had a chat, a chance to chat with the manager. Yeah, um, quite on Shrewsbury like certainly in terms of their their recent history in in appointing what what's that two forty eight hours realistically mm -hmm. um, after after Sam Ricketts sacking obviously earlier this week you know previous few years it's been what three four weeks with with a caretaker in charge um, but yeah Steve Steve Cottrell's the man obviously the news um, was confirmed at about eleven forty five this morning I think just before midday and. Bit left, bit left field. I think bit out of the blue. Wasn't much speculation. Um, very high profile manager, one of town's most high profile managers for for several decades. Really, obviously, taking Graham Turner into into account mm. uh, in terms of his history with the club. But yeah, um, as soon as I, I was a, I was a little bit shocked when I saw it. But you know, when you think about it and read about it, and and as you say, now I've met him today, and we had about an hour in his company, about forty minutes on record, which. Is going on online on the Star website and in, in tomorrow's paper and, and beyond. There's, he came across really well. First impressions, I think, are important and they were really good. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's more important what happens on the pitch, but I think he gave the best impression he, he could have today to, you know, myself and, and the radio media that were there. He was he was really good and he backed up a lot of, that you heard about about him speaking to several sort of contacts and and hearing fans, particularly fans of Bristol City, where he was. Um, of course, seriously successful. Mm -hmm. um, really impressed me. Really commanded the room. Really came over really well. Um, a few other points we'll get into in a bit, but yeah, very impressed um, by what he had to say. Very impressed by what what I read about him, and I think he came over brilliantly. I think there were interviews that Shrewsbury fans will love to hear. Mm -hmm when they get the chance to read and hear them. So yeah, uh, exciting times. Uh, really high profile ambitious appointments obviously we know he's got sort of history with chairman roland witchley we know they're they're friends from from years decades going back um so there's always been that sort of link that affiliation and uh, yeah i think it's a really exciting appointment and um uh, i imagine there'll be some good times ahead yeah and, and as you kind of touched on i mean there's there's an article which we've put together uh on the shropshire star website right now uh looking into obviously cottrell and, and what he's done previously Judging from his times at Bristol City, I mean, there's a lot of Shrewsbury Town fans who I think can can get a little bit excited already. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, he, yeah. did, he did work wonders there. A lot of parallels, funnily enough. He he took over at Bristol City, um, where he spent between... He took over at December 2013, mm -hmm. so almost exactly seven years ago, bar in a couple of days. Um, Bristol City were 23rd in League One, second bottom, same as Shrewsbury are currently uh, obviously struggling um his first game was an fa cup second round tie mm -hmm. against a non-league team the same as with shrewsbury tomorrow it's, it's a little bit spooky to be honest obviously they're different clubs um bristol city big club um a backing you know big fan base whatnot ashton gate you know mm -hmm. but um a lot of parallels like i say and didn't he work wonders i mean he, he, he steered them out of trouble in that season uh, to, to, to get them comfortable uh, did a bit of work in, in the summer window and they absolutely romped the League One title mm -hmm. the following season with 99 points um, also won the EFL trophy the, the Football League trophy so a, a magnificent double I, say, uh, I think it was a club record 99 points uh, a 3-5-2 which was Everyone knew about, you know, didn't they? It was progressive, forward thinking, um, expansive, expressive, really exciting style of football that, you know, I, I think there's talk about um, Chris Wilder's overlapping centre-backs with Sheffield United, you know. Mm -hmm. Steve Cottrell's um, Bristol City w weren't far off it, you know, a few years previously and it's an exciting style. I've obviously asked him about that, all about his formations and, and town fans can read, I think particularly on that tomorrow morning on the website uh, and in the paper, but... You know, he didn't want to stick by that. You know, he didn't want to say, yes, that was brilliant for me at Bristol City and that's what we'll do. Um, he's very wary that he's got to use what he's got at Shrewsbury and what the players are comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, he, he he spoke about how he's, you know, he's been in management 25 years, 95 he started 
in Ireland with um, with Sligo Sligo. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Mm-hmm. Um, before obviously going to Cheltenham, where he you know he took them from non-league into the league and and did a hell of a lot of promotions. Um, FA Trophy but he's been in management for such a long time and he's he said he's had to evolve and he's still had to evolve he's had to evolve since Bristol City um, you know obviously football ever changing um, ever modernising obviously some things remain the same but he's he's evolved himself and it was really enlightening to hear him speak about how he did that and no, I think I think the three five two has been used by Shrewsbury in recent times under, under Sam Ricketts um, I think it could suit the squad I mean, you know, there's three centre halves to start with, so so that works. And you know, you've got your wing backs, haven't you? Um, that we've seen in recent weeks, and and a midfield. And it'll be interesting to see what he does if if he uses that formation. Who who he plays up top in a two, but you know, it remains to be seen. Obviously, starting at at home to Oxford City in an interesting first game on Sunday in the FA Cup, National League South opposition, um, semi professional club, I, I believe. Obviously, it's 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 being played live on on BBC and BT services. It's a lucrative game for the club. You know, they want to win for the prize money. They've got mm-hmm. the broadcast fee. Important in these COVID times. It's an interesting first game. One their favourites in, one you'd expect them to win. But obviously brings that sort of pressure in a way that there is the expectation for them to win on, on Sunday. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how it plays out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it certainly is something to look forward to. Lewis, I think a lot of people might might have looked at this appointment and they thought, yes, he's, he's vastly experienced. But... I suppose the one hiccup has, has been that, that Blues job where things didn't quite work out. But it's somewhat harsh to judge him, I think, on on, a, on that spell. Yeah. Mean, just just the, the way things kind of happen there. He was number two, then he then he takes over. He's, he's in a club where, let, let's be honest, behind the scenes, things weren't exactly, you know, were going great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's just tough to judge him on that. I think I think a lot of town fans should be excited looking at that spell at Bristol, at Bristol City because it's, it's much more comparable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Bristol City. You know, he he did well at Burnley before that. Obviously, Cheltenham, he, he did outstandingly. Um, I, th- I think he did, you know, yeah, decent work at Nottingham Forest and Portsmouth. I haven't had the chance to look into it too too much yet. But yeah, the the Blues job, you know, he was a number two to to Harry Redknapp. I think, and I'm no expert on the on the Blues situation. And while he didn't speak of it particularly today, he did say that after that finished, he'd, he'd taken this time. You know, he's been out of the game for two and a half years, mm. you know, getting on for three years. It's quite a period, really. And I saw some town fans, you know, touch on that when they were reacting to the news, saying, you know, he's been out of the game. Has he been in touch? He, he's absolutely been in touch. He, uh, you know, in a non-COVID world, he was going to two, three games a week. Obviously, since he's been watching that amount of games on on Y Scout, which is a, a platform that... that football people used to, to watch games mm-hmm. um he's on top of he's he called himself a student of the game he is he's a proper football person you can tell that he's been in management 25 years he's forgotten more than any of us ever know about football you know um yeah i think it's harsh in terms of i just think like you said it's not comparable mm. the, the blues gig you know it's it's a, it's a total you know, I, I don't want to say out of terms about Birmingham here, but it's a hard club to be at. I imagine how many managers have been successful mm. at, at Birmingham recently, realistically. And he wasn't there for very long at all, was he? Certainly in the in the number one gig. Um, is it 10, 10, 10 games? Yeah. Probably more than 10 yeah, games. It, but, it, yeah. it wasn't a huge amount of, of games. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's fair at all. And he, he did say, you know, in, in the two and a half years since, he took time to reflect. And you know, fans can read on, on the Shropshire Star website now. He... It was a big job for him. You know, he's 56, um, been in the game a long time. This is probably the longest he's been out of it in terms of management. I think I'm right in saying. But he, he knew that this job, this next one for him was big. Um, uh, you know, it had to be right. And he specified that it had to be right with the chairman. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he knows Roland Witchley, so it, it suited them down to the ground. They got on, trusted each other, you know, friends, allies. Um, so it, it all fit and it all suits. And I think it's very high profile, like, like I said earlier. And I think a lot of town fans have seen it as a coup, really. I mean, it's a, his CV is excellent. You know, as good as you're going to get for a manager at this level, realistically. And his experience is brilliant. And town fans wanted an experienced boss um, to come in and, and help them out of trouble. And I think he's going to do exactly that. I think the charist that I heard before I met him today and meeting today, I, I backed up exactly what I heard. Uh, he's demanding. Uh, I wrote down some words here. He, he's passionate. Mm-hmm. He's intense um, and standards, I think, 
standards will be will be raised um i think all of those things are exactly what town needed um i don't think he's coming in to be friends with any of the players i think he's coming in to do his job i think it'll be a happy and good environment to work but i think it will be a very hard working environment i think it's exactly what town needed after how things had gone uh, mm. a real lift a real boost to kick everyone into gear basically he'll get them organized he'll get them fit hard working and i think it's exactly no he's not a I get to know this. Obviously, I'm only learning about the guy, and I'm not. I can't say for one way or the other whether he's a disciplinarian, but he certainly demands mm. um, standards, and I think that was needed. Certainly. Yeah, and then lastly, Lewis. I mean, what what a, what a way to start. I mean, you kind of touched on it before. You got this yeah. FA Cup game this Sunday, uh, and then you know when Wednesday rolls around, all of a sudden you got our fans back in, and it's it was a, it's a strange dynamic, isn't it? Because if fans were back in a week ago. The mood, I think, would have been very, very different. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a, a massive, you know, it's been a massive lift to everyone. I've seen a lot of fan reactions today and it's been very good, very positive. Um, you know, when it, you're a fan of Shrewsbury Town and it's been tough, you know, in the league, certainly for, for, for a while now, mm -hmm. you know, even before COVID. So you, you've need, they, they, they've needed, obviously a lot of them have wanted change and they've needed that lift, that boost just to get back almost into love with it, almost on terms of it. And I think they've, they've felt that boost today. Obviously, they're back um, in the meadow, 2,000 of them, for the uh, Steve Cottrell's first league game against Accrington mm -hmm. next Wednesday, uh, which will be a big occasion. It feels like the start of a new chapter, doesn't it? Obviously, he starts against Oxford City, as, as we say, but, but that league game is, is a big one. And, you know, the short term, as, as I've written on the, on the website, the short term ambition is to, you know, let's get the wins needed to, to get out of, the drop zone, mm. you know, then demanding schedule before Christmas. Then you go to a transfer window in Jan. Then after Jan, you know, he'll be able to shape the squad a bit. You know, I'd, 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 I'd um, you know, maybe get out who he wants to get out, bring in who he wants to bring in. Then it's more his squad moving towards the summer and, and get the club as high as I want. He said to me, you know, let's see where we are in three months mm. rather than, you know, three years. And let's touch on the fact it's a three and a half year deal. Well yeah. worth mentioning. Um, real backing, you know, a real commitment that length of deal is is massive, bigger than than I can remember the club giving to a manager. Um, but no surprise, we're saying it's a coup, we're saying it's high profile. You know, yes, it's a risk if it doesn't work, but it's always a risk if it doesn't work with anyone, mm -hmm. any player, any manager. And and everything you hear, read, and everything I saw today suggests that it will work. And I'm just going to add, before we forget, Luke, a few have obviously been asking about the, the backroom team, the staff situation. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Sam Ricketts and, and Dean Whitehead left the club this week, the manager and, and assistant previously. Um, so as it stands, Brian Jensen, who was the goalkeeper coach, is staying in. Mm -hmm. um, Steve managed him at Burnley. They know each other. Uh, as far as we're aware and understand, the, the, the medical team, fitness team, physio team are all staying in place. Um, and, and Steve Cottrell confirmed that he, he knows who he wants to bring in, mm -hmm. but he hasn't been able to, to make those calls yet. It's just been a whirlwind two days and he, he hasn't had any downtime. He says he's had to... Uh, take a COVID test, which has been a nightmare, you know, mm. get get up here, um, get everything sorted. In between all that, in the 48 hours, he's managed to cram in six Shrewsbury games mm. on video, which is, is some going, to be honest. He, you know, he'll have needed that, you know, before seeing the players in training today, as he as he has. He said he was impressed, by the way. Um, but he hasn't been able to, to, to call out to who he wants on his, his backroom staff yet, but he does know. And, mm. You know that I think that will happen soon. Realistically, it won't take very long for for that to be um, clarified and and things like that. So so fans will know. And yeah, they can read all of our stuff obviously on the website and in the paper. And game on Sunday, less than forty eight hours time. Looking forward to it. And you know, I got a good feeling about got a good feeling about the the appointment in, in his whole tenure. To be honest, yeah, don't have long to wait, do we, Lewis? We'll both be there on Sunday for Steve Cox's first game in charge of Shrewsbury Town. Until then, you know where to go for all. The latest Shrewsbury Town news, shopshastar.com.